Hello and welcome to this video on the Fortnite game. Thank you for joining me. I'm Charles Galofre. Let's get started. After e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, knight c3, knight f6. This is very imaginatively called the Fortnite opening. And what could we say about the opening? Well, it's it's common knowledge that uh, white shouldn't get an advantage from this opening. But needless to say, it's very tricky because of white's accelerated development. And also the symmetry in the position uh, leads to some interesting uh, tricky variations at time. And as a result, if you're familiar with the theory, you should be able to score a full point. Uh, so, so, okay, so how... Oh, actually, before we continue, I just want to bring to your attention that there are two variations here. One is g6, and the other one is bishop to c5. So if you're playing this for white, after bishop c5, you simply play knight takes c5. And after knight takes c5, d4, and it's obvious that white has a much better position. Um, if instead, g6, then there's a very, very interesting analysis here. After pawn takes, knight takes, bishop g7. Bishop b3, knight f6, we exchange on c6, and we play e5, breaking the harmony in black's pieces. He has to play knight to g8, and then I suggest to move bishop to c4. It's, uh, it's a tricky variation. Bishop takes e5, castles, and after d5, knight takes e5. Uh, you can analyze it. It's, uh, it's good for white. So going back... In this position, the most common move is knight f6. After which, white has several alternatives. Bishop to b5 is the most common way of playing, but d4 has also been tried. And after pawn takes, uh, you could play the scotch, which goes knight takes d4, bishop b4, knight c6, Knight c6, b6, bishop d3, and now very important is the move castle. This is the best way of playing the position. If you play d5 now, then you could play pawn takes, and after pawn takes, queen to e2, and there's some variations here that could lead to an advantage for white. So, castles by black, white should castle, after which black plays d5, and now the move is pawn takes d5. If e5, then black gets a decisive advantage after knight to g4, bishop f4, f6, pawn takes, queen takes, bishop g3, and bishop d6. Black will later play rook to b8, and he has a very dynamic position with a lot of pressure on the king side. So going back, we typically capture on d5, black will recapture. Now we play bishop g5, and our plan is very simple. We play queen to f3, rook a to e1, and sometimes there are sacrifices on f6, on e7, and on h7. So it's uh, it's an interesting opening, but needless to say, after c6 here, black should have uh, a perfectly playable game because his only weakness is his pawn structure, but uh, he has dynamic factors. There are dynamic factors in the position that compensate this um, the open E file, the open B file, and he has absolutely no problems whatsoever developing his pieces. So going back, if you like, if if you're into more adventurous play, you could try the uh, the Budapest Gambit, but versus the Budapest, uh, it's common knowledge that after Bishop T7, Bishop to 4 D6, castles. Excuse me. Knight takes d4, castles, uh, that this position is completely playable for black. Um, if white, for instance, if white continues with knight to b5, then we simply capture on d5. We play a6, and after knight c3, knight e5, this is completely playable for black. So going back, the most common way of playing the position is to follow in the Rui Lopez style, with bishop to b5, after which bishop to b4 is probably the most solid alternative although black can play knight to d4 and here you have different alternatives i like knight takes c5 this is a move that nigel short uh played i think it's re relatively tricky so i could recommend it uh if you want to have a simple solution versus the system alternatively you could play knight takes d4 which is a wimpy way of playing after pawn takes e5 and then black captures on c3 white captures Queen takes f6, queen e2, and queen e7, and uh, we're going to have a 
completely symmetrical position where uh, when the queens go off the board it's basically going to pan out to a draw so going back um, another way of playing this position is bishop to a4 but here you allow black the possibility of entering into these uh, dynamic variations with c6 and bishop to c5 uh, for instance after c6 um, we play knight e5 d6 knight f3 and bishop g4 and black has compensation here so going back, bishop b4, now we castle, black castle is very important to castle, if d6 then he gets a completely lost position after knight to d5 and after bishop a5, d4, so going back, castles, castles, now we play d3, d6, notice that black is keeping the symmetry, bishop to g5 and it's here when he has to break it he has to play bishop takes c3 if he doesn't play bishop takes c3 and he plays instead bishop g4 then this is a, uh, a big mistake and this is uh, known that after knight to d5 white gets a winning position for instance if black continues then after knight takes b4 and knight takes b5 knight d5 now the only move knight d4 queen d2 c6 knight f6 Pawn takes f6, bishop h4, bishop f3, queen h6, threatening checkmate with bishop takes f6, knight e2 check, king h1, bishop takes g2, king takes, knight f4, king h1, knight g6, and after rook g1, uh, white has uh, basically an overwhelming attack. So going back... After bishop takes c3, we recapture, black plays queen e7, we play rook to e1, and now uh, after knight to d8, this position, there's uh, there's chances for both sides, more for white than for black, uh, but black should be completely fine here because there's still 8 pawns in the position, and as a result there's not that many diagonals for the bishops, and black is going to play after d4, knight e6, bishop c1, c5 and the character of the position remains closed and as a result black shouldn't have any problems with his minor pieces or with white's bishops